What's up, whiskey lovers? I'm Big Al, and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight. For today, I am going to bring you a review of the Glenlivet 18, and it is the 43% ABV version, not the 40% ABV version, which you'll see mostly around today. Now, this is a, from a sample that was kindly sent to me by subscriber Michael Linus, who describes it as the one that started off his whiskey quest. So. In reality, his epiphany whiskey. So, thanks once again for your amazing generosity, Michael. It's much appreciated. And knowing you as a man of fine tastes, I'm really looking forward to this one. So, a wee bit chilly outside now uh, to sit around. So, I'm going to pop inside. So, I'll see you in there shortly. If you guys got a bottle of this, you know, please pour yourself a dram, join me in a drink. And we'll see where it goes from there. Launch it. Ah, right off, on the nose, you know you're on to a winner here. And why do I say that? Well, it's rich. You're thinking here on the nose that this is not 43%. You're thinking 46 and beyond. It's rich. There's a bit of depth to it. It's creamy, it's buttery. Even on the, the all the factory bulbs, you know that this whiskey is special. There's lemon, there's honey. And it's not just your bog standard honey, it is Manuka honey. It's rich, it's vibrant. There's a wee bit of fresh fruit in there. And a slight little subtle hint of ginger around the edges as well. But the most prominent aroma here is that rich, lovely manuka honey. And it's like... It's like you've got a nice, big, thick, crusty slice of loaf. You have melted butter on the top of it and you've put a big smattering of Manuka honey right on that. And it's just like, oh. and you know what? You're looking at it. You've got those lovely aromas. And as much as you love smelling those aromas, and what it's doing for you, you just want to get right in and taste it. Really, really impressive nosing. So let's get right on to the palate. Cheers. Wow. This is one impressive whiskey. Right off on the arrival fresh juicy pear some big double but that fresh juicy pear note it just comes through it's very refreshing like there's always smattering of ginger spice around the edges but my god that rich pear note and the juiciness of it and the mouthfeel as well the mouthfeel is it's creamy it just coats the palate and you've already got that feel what you've got here is one hell of a bloody good 18 year old whiskey get a wee touch of vanilla now as well as it uh, transitions towards the back of the palate but my god the nose was great and the palate was great too so let's go in for another wee sip and see how it goes now I'm getting vanilla again but what's coming right through and it's not something I really have experienced I'm not going to say too much but I, I can't think of any whiskey I've experienced this on before 
there's a wee hint of custard cream, lemony custard cream coming in in the back of that. And it's smooth, it's frothy, it's mouth coating, it's unctuous. But once again, what comes pushing through all that is that lovely, fresh, juicy pear note. And you know what? What it reminds me of, and I haven't had this in a whiskey before either, as well as the custard, is that, what the hell did you call it? That pear lollipop going back to my youth. I don't even know if they still do it. What did you call it? Was it the piggy, porky pear or something like that? I'm going to have to look it up after this and I'll uh, see if I can find it and I'll pop a wee uh, picture up on the screen here. I can't rightly remember what it was. I know there was a poly pineapple because I really like those but there was a pear one as well and it was all oh, just so delightful. And this is what it reminds me of. Do you know what? <sighs> Unlike my Drambuster reviews where I say, you know, it's going to be by try to die. Normally in samples, I don't give a score, but from now on, if it's not one of my Dram Team subscription whiskies, I'm going to give it a sample score, which is like a provisional score based just on the sample alone, where I will say that this is what I think the score should be now, but I reserve the right should I get a full bottle of this, go down through it, take proper notes, and see how a full bottle impresses me or otherwise, maybe change that, or maybe keep it the same, who knows, but based on just this sample alone, I am not surprised, Michael, that you got into whiskey with this dram. It is bloody delicious. And I mean, it's just, oh, it's just so delightful. And thank you once again for sending it to me. And I think my preliminary score on this, my sample score would have to be a 91. It is that good, beautiful, delicious whiskey so folks thanks for tuning in thanks once again for watching thanks for all your support and if you've had the Glen Levitt 18 whether it's this 43% older version or the newer iteration at 40% please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and you know what I'm just going to sit back and savour the rest of this dram because it is so delightful. Thanks for hanging out, folks. I appreciate it. Until next time, look after yourselves, look after each other, and keep on drinking your whiskey the way you like it. Sláinte. Thanks for watching, folks. I really do appreciate it. Please check out these other reviews and if you'd like to support the channel, the best way is by subscribing, liking and commenting. And don't forget to ring that bell for all video notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Cheers.